Agent Fuzz Blackman, are you prepared for your newest mission? Yes, sir. Show me your weapons. Do you have your primary weapon? Yes, sir. Extra magazines? Yes, sir. Secondary weapon? Yes, sir. What else? Uh, backup knife. Is that all? No, I've got my secret weapon. Secret weapon? Spy Valley! Hey everybody, this is Stuart with Wine on the Dime, and today my mission is Spy Valley. It's a 2016 Sauvignon Blanc from New Zealand, uh, Spy Valley of the Marble region, and it is 13% alcohol mill volume, and I paid $9 for it at my local HEB. So, first of all, screw top, plus one. Let's try this bad boy out. So, well, the <laughs> That's, that's gonna make it difficult. Let me see if my cheat sheet's under here because, there we go. It is pretty much the color of this wooden table. It is the color of this wooden table. It is a really light straw color. Um, very light. Like almost, like the color of very, very like slightly tinted water. This is super light wine. Um, but great clarity and no artifacts from a nose standpoint. And I, I, from here, I can smell this, by the way, I'm getting so much grapefruit and citrus notes in this wine. It's just blowing up. So, um, like I said, grapefruit, especially a lot of grapefruit, like the grapefruit peel is very strong. Uh, I'll say grapefruit oil. Um, a little bit of what smells like peach, but just overall a lot of like some very high acid citrus. Yeah, oh. No, that's the peach. Um, from a taste standpoint. Ooh, this is good. This is really good. So I'd heard a lot of great things about Spy Valley. And it's been a while since I decided that I wanted to like try to find a Starborough killer. This could be pretty close. This could be the one. <laughs> wow, this is really good. It's very balanced. The thing that's missing that I like that Starborough has is like those passion fruit notes, but this is a very, very good wine. I'm gonna give it a very good. I don't know if it's great, um, because now that I'm thinking about it, this wasn't $9, this was $15. So this is at the high end where Starbro still delivers a big bang for the buck at $9. So I'm gonna give it a very good. I'm gonna be comfortable with that because Starbro is great, especially for that price point. But you know what? I'm going to really enjoy this one. Might not even share it with the wife. Anyway, this has been Stuart with Wine on the Dime. If you liked today's video, please like, subscribe, and comment. Have you tried Spy Valley Sauvignon Blanc? I'd be interested to know if you have. Is there something better than Spy Valley at the same price point or cheaper? That's not Starborough. Because I've already done the Starborough. It's in one of my top wines, so you can't take that one. But if you like that one too, let me know. And I will see you guys again soon with another episode from Wine on the Dime. So you made it to the end of the video. Congratulations, that's a very good accomplishment. It's probably better than most people have done today. But you know what else is an accomplishment? Subscribing to my channel, because then you get more of this all the time. Especially if you hit that bell and you get that notification whenever you hit the bell, that's a really good thing you should hit the bell. Also, take a look at another one of my videos. My hand was probably too high right there, but I'm not gonna edit this because this is the outro and I don't care now. I'm gonna go drink wine.